Well, we made it. It's first thing in the morning. It is stupid cold out here. We got down 13, 15 degrees last night. Um, we got in just before dark, set up our tents. We became a victim of our tents and we just had to huddle up in our sleeping bags. Uh, we made food just outside the vestibule and just ate it in our sleeping bags. It, it was stupid cold. And uh, yeah, it's a crazy night, but we got it, we got it done. It was a good experience <laughs> and we all enjoyed it, but we're getting ready to pack up and figure out what we're doing today, but it is cold, cold. This is their setup, right in the snow, wrong side of the brook. You're on the wrong side of the brook? No, no, we're not on the wrong side of the brook, long side of the brook. Oh. You do okay, Win? Yeah. Now we're trying to get sorted and get packed up. But we've been doing it in steps and crawling back in the tents and warming ourselves up, getting layers on and I got everything on. I got my puffy on. I got my thermals on. I got everything on. Everything I brought is on. Every single thing. Same with you? Everything I bring on a hike is roof hike. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like sleeping with my rain coat on now. Everything we got is on. Whew. It's crazy. That's another statement. I got my sneaker in my toe box trying to thaw it out. It's like a, it's like a brick. Got both of them in here. Well, we're all packed up. When did you get to stepping already? Our feet are really cold. We're humping out to the car. We can't do another night of this. And uh, we're gonna regroup and go from there. We're stepping. Here's proof. <laughs> it says 15 right now. Does it have, what does it say for the minimum? Minimum minus three. Yeah. That's crazy. I had to stop. It's just so pretty. We've all warmed up. I'm doing really good. The trail is now an ice flow. It's no longer a river. We got spikes on our feet. We packed them out and they're very, very nice. This trip has been a huge, huge learning experience. And the old adage of get up and get walking, you warm up, is correct. You warm up. Even the toes are starting to warm up. But the challenge is getting packed up while it's so cold and not freezing to death in the process of packing up. That's the challenge. Food, y'all didn't give me any food. I ain't had no food. No, I don't want your food, enjoy it. You don't want it anymore if you give me leftovers. Oh, Watch my, out, it's wet. My stomach's short it's once. It's soft. It. Mm. Eat it. He said, I don't want no more. I don't want to know where this was to get it nice and warm like that. It's like <laughs> it's like it's been a little warming oven. <laughs> it's really yummy. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm hungry. I dug out the Advil and took the Advil, two of them. Yeah. So good. Mm. 
Oh my god, that's good. You got another? I don't have another one. <laughs> no. I have heat sticks in here if you'd like them. No. I also have gold oh, shelf. Hmm? The caramel's like stringing out mm. and then freezing and dangling from you and it just fell in it's, one long it string. It is soft. <laughs> when we were packing up the food bag, I tucked it right down in. <laughs> the chipmunks will like it. They'll find it. It'd be like sugar on snow. Getting every last piece. <laughs> My heels are cold. Like, why would my heels be cold? My heels are cold. <laughs> heels are cold. <laughs> I ain't got no blood flow on my heels. That explains a lot. All right, here we go. Time to crash and burn. I hope not. I really don't want that. <sighs> These little micro spike thingies, they feel a little weird on rocks, but I did all right. Adjusting the pack, sorry folks. It's hard to get adjusted after you take it off and rummage through it and repack it. It becomes a whole different beast on your back. Well. We try to pack the same every morning, but this morning was a little, <laughs> we're going. <laughs> Get this stuff loaded. <laughs> hey, these micro spikes are nice. They come right out through here. sun coming through up there. Really pretty. Really pretty. In the far out app, not this water source, but there was two other water sources. <laughs> they, they said were dry and just puddles and hard to find water and they were just free flowing yesterday and there were like, there was easily three more three more water sources yesterday was not even mentioned in gut hooks but uh far out it's far out now sorry and they were there <laughs> like, well, the water's over. tells you how wet the trails are it's crazy to me that this stuff is not even moving but it, it didn't freeze Crazy. Must be a current there somewhere. Oh, well, that's a that's a pretty good prediction of us hiking if it recorded it all. <laughs> it's what we do. So we're headed out today. We got up, it was super cold, 15 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, we did it though. We used all our gear. It was very positive overall. Um, we stayed warm with everything we we're gonna bring with us. And it was definitely a test that, you know, we could get through a scenario like that if we ended up in it. And hopefully we don't, but right. Um, right. it's nice to know that we can get through it. In the tents, we weren't we weren't cold. Were you cold? I mean, overall, were you cold in the tents in the in the sleeping gear? No, in my in my sleeping bag gear, I was not cold sleeping at night. No. I wasn't warm. My pad is too cold. I would really like like a Thermar SZ light. I think over the top of it. At one point, I put my uh, my Z seat under my butt. <laughs> well, <laughs> because it was getting cold, and I sleep with less air in my pad. So I don't know if maybe I put more air in it, it would have been warmer, but with that Z seat in there, it was warm. And we used hot hands. I did use hot hands. 
really yeah, didn't we use hot hands. Use the hot we hands, all did. But I did. I, the only part of me that was a little cool, and mine's a half mummy that zips halfway up, is I'm a flipper and I've got a liner, but I get flipping in the liner and then the mummy bag shifts a bit. And next thing I know, I'm getting cold hiney. So I took my, uh, I took my puffy that I wasn't wearing, but I had in the bag, and I slid it down on my hip area. So when I Smart. shifted, my hiney wasn't getting so cold. <laughs> but I slept well otherwise. So yesterday it was only supposed to be 6.1 miles into where we hiked into to camp. And you tracked what? Nine. You tracked nine? Yeah, did nine as well. Yeah, and, and my, um, I tracked a solid eight on the Garmin Instinct. And our next day was scheduled to be eight miles to the top of a mountain, very top of a mountain, Smarts Mountain, and camp up there. And, you know, we got through last night, but it's nothing we want to attempt to today because the way it's working, it'd be like 14 miles to us. Right. And it's, we're not going to... And the temps are supposed to be right down the teens again. Yeah. yeah. Packing up, I mean, one day packing up in the, in the cold weather is fine. And, you know, and then plan on heading to town when you're on the AT, that's doable. Yeah. Um, but doing it two, three days in a row, nothing I would wish on anybody. No, <laughs> no, it was cold. So, anyways, we're bailing. We're going to regroup. We may do a little bit more hiking today. Um, we got three cars, so we may go to another car and pick up a little, another little section of trail. We're but... not bailing. We're just not going to camp another night. Yeah, we're not going to camp another night. But it was completely successful. We definitely yeah. tested all of our stuff. We know we can make it. Yeah. So, that's what we're doing. In the beginning, when it was still in the 20s, I was warm enough in the tent with the hot hands. I fell asleep for a good probably four hours. I was got good sleep, yeah. and that's when I woke up at midnight and <laughs> couldn't believe it was midnight. Yeah, was she cold. was snoring, <laughs> and I'm over there going, "How was she sleeping in this?" I wasn't sleeping. I, I got nice and warm. I I wasn't cold. I just couldn't get. I the, had my. The river was so loud. <laughs> it was loud. <laughs> I almost got in and got my ear pods uh, to plug my ears. Yeah. I almost did, but I'm thinking those things are cold. <laughs> the river outside. was beautiful to me. I really enjoyed the river, but there was like this whooshing noise in the river. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. all night, there was like a, the river was causing some kind of whooshing. I was like whoosh. Like whoosh, I said, whoosh. I, a couple times I really felt weird. the ground vibrate beneath me. I have no clue if it was a rock falling or something because yeah. I heard nothing, but all of a sudden I felt it. I, my whole body was shaking and I wasn't cold. It, wasn't, it was a point where I wasn't cold and, and I wasn't shivering. And it just rumbled. The ground rumbled. I'm like, oh, crumb. <laughs> well, I was right before I had those massive cramps, like my whole body started like shivering. Yeah. And I wasn't even cold. It was like a precursor to the cramp coming. Yeah. Wow. And then like I just started like shaking. I'm like, I'm not cold. And then it went from I had a really bad cramp in my calf i thought i was my leg was on the uh, water filter oh yeah the the water filter i just keep warm in the box yeah. and i was like wait no that's my muscle in my leg huh. and so then i reached down to like try to like maneuver that and then my whole right leg just lit up and it felt like yeah. lightning going through my entire leg like up my leg through oh it's so painful. it's just because we're dehydrated and, and we were sitting on the pads yeah sitting at weird angles we don't sit on the floor at home very we often we gotta practice sitting on the floor yes. indian style and yeah. stuff I'm probably not in the fact, right I've term but crisscross that. applesauce and i have started that and doing some stretches in that position to loosen yeah. up those ligaments because they're too tight yep yeah because it's not normal like you don't normally sit on the floor no well, us older people don't. Like, you know, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's be specific. I, as the oldest here, do sit on the floor more than these two because I have grandkids and I get right down there with them. With the exception know. of Jen, she gets down and plays with her nephew. So, but it's not a normal thing. Like sitting no, in the tent. Stretch more than I could last right. year. <laughs> yes. You, you walk all day and then you crawl in the tent and you sit there on your little air pad. It's yeah. It's. And it's the air weird. pad bends weird and makes you roll and use yep. muscles to to stabilize yourself. Yeah. And... Yep. Yep. Yeah. So we got through that, but the the cramps for me were very scary. <laughs> but we didn't drink enough electrolytes last yesterday. No. We didn't have enough water. You were smart. We you had, had some, there was plenty of water, but we just didn't drink it. But I didn't. I didn't have any electrolytes yesterday. Yeah. I had the electrolytes that were in the food. Yeah, that's not Well, I much. think the electrolytes <laughs> I had helped me. Because the only thing I drank yesterday was electrolytes. Yeah. So and I, I woke up sweating me. in the middle of the night, so I released some more. Well, that's good. <laughs> so, yeah. so. It was a great time overall. It's something definitely, I'm happy I experienced it. I really Yes. Am.
pushing boundaries but and limits. It really is. Out what we can do. It's pretty yeah. neat seeing that you know we pulled that off. Yeah. It's really it's really awesome feeling. And that we pulled it off with the gear for through hiking. Like right. I had other gear in my pack Same. in case I needed it. Right. But I didn't use any of it except for what I knew I would have with me on the trail if I was going to be on the trail. Same. Right. And from now on, probably we'll just use the gear that we have and be more comfortable. But we know that we can do it with just what we have planned to pack. Yes. I'm going to upgrade my mitt, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade my gloves. I think I'm gonna go to something these like are, that. These are nice, they do keep you warm. All I can say about gloves, they look nice in the store, but when you get them out in the conditions, they're a whole different animal. It's hard, to, you have to test them. Yeah. You really gotta test them. We got gloves that we think aren't gonna perform at all, and they're the best things in the world. Yeah. These were the ones that we think great. are gonna do great, just don't they work. They worked great with the waterproof liners that I was wearing, but the waterproof liners this morning were so cold, I couldn't even get my hands into them. Uh, and my hands were already cold, I just couldn't put my body through that. Yeah. So I couldn't put my hands in those and then put them in this because my fingers get cold so fast. So. Yeah. I, I just couldn't do it. Instead, I just did the old fashioned under the armpits, warm them up, do my stuff, warm them up <laughs> yeah. <laughs> until I got my gear packed yeah. up because it's hard to pack with gear on. Yeah. yeah. So. And once once we got moving, we warmed up. I was yeah. nice and warm. Yeah, my toes we, are no longer frozen. <laughs> it, took, yeah. it took a good three quarters of a mile. I mean, we took a good three quarters of a mile, almost a mile, but warmed right up. Yeah, yeah we were talking about we would have peeled these coats off. Long if we ago, if we were going to stay on trail, but we knew we were coming to the car, so we didn't worry. Yeah. And these spikes are so nice. So nice to have spikes on. Yep. Let me see them. Ta da! These yeah. are the Catula Catulas. micro spikes. Yeah. The Scott and I are wearing the Hill Sound. Hill, hill sound. sound. The Hill Sounds are a lot a lot beefier. And they're chunky. Let me see your other foot. They make it so much easier to this walk. This kind of off kilter, but it works. confidence yeah. so you can step on rocks and it took us a lot less time to come down with the confidence yeah. of our feet we put a shoe of them on last night we, we should think to yeah. Yep. yeah coming down today was really nice you had them on and you just come around down through yep we probably would have went right on up through too last night if we put them on yeah we, we were sli so. I was slipping a lot last night. So last night going yeah. up over there, yes. yeah, because some like people, there was a lot of slippage. There's a lot of extra effort because there was a lot climb. of ice where other people had slipped. Yeah, yeah. And if if you hadn't had that slipping effect, I think it would have been a lot smoother yeah. hike up here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I kept thinking on the way up. I'm like, there's at least one guy that hiked in here that really wishes he didn't hike in with those boots and probably will never go hiking with those boots again because of all those slips and slides. Oh, it slips you see, everywhere. That one set yeah. of tracks. I was like, wow, I would not want to be that person. No. <laughs> Stopping He's... my timer officially for the walk, oh. and it was uh, 2.12 yep. miles with the Fitbit. It's supposed to be 1.6 to where we hiked it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little feet, let's just say. I'm gonna just say it's that. Short yeah. strides. All right, I'm ready to go. All right, so we're out here, we're doing it. It's two miles, Sobo. We're just covering the gap between Smart Mountain parking lot, which is right over there. The high. Hi. And then uh, we're headed Sobo to the Dorchester where we have a car park down there. And uh, we're nice and warm and toasty. We had coffee and a, and a sausage and egg, and we're all good to go. We knock out these few miles just to get them out of the way and train, and we still got our full packs on. I, I cheated. I stripped a few things out. The ladies got their full packs on, but it's all good. Busy day. I, most people are kind of smart. I'm sure this trail will be pretty laid back, but for people. But we'll see. We're walking down through here like, we ain't seen a blaze. Where's the blaze? <laughs> Made of granite. Because we are in the granite state. <laughs> 412 miles if you're going. 1700 no miles. 400 miles. No bow. The GoPros. Batteries just don't like the cold. I got new ones coming. So y'all have to deal with the iPhone. Doing the best we can with it.
Four, three. Huh. No water. Water. <laughs> Come around with that tree. Huh. That's really neat. My thought too. I was watching your feet go in. The trail really goes right down through there. It's really pretty out here today. Jeez Louise. Seriously? Yep. Take your time. Wow. That's crazy. Is it really so wrapped up under here? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's a big step. Yes, it is. Careful, you're. Yeah, keep, pick your feet up extra high because your cleats will get stuck. On little, stuff, little, you little edges. Expect. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. You might have a casualty. Wendy, don't get hurt going down there. I love you, but you're getting a pair of hiking poles. No, I'll figure it out. I'll get down there. Yeah, I will get there. <laughs> yeah, no, you are going down the river. All right, we'll chase it. There's a big pool down there. Is it floating? Yeah. <laughs> Operation Trekking Pole Rescue. Let me repeat. Operation Trekking Pole Rescue down there. Wendy's seeing if she can get around to it this way. Got going around this way. Hopefully nobody hurts themselves. Still a replaceable trekking pole. But, you know, got to do your part not to pollute the River, right? Oh, and you've got a long stick. That's a good idea. There it goes. Wendy's going to be the winner. Put it through the strap if you can. Nice. But your pole is wet and gross. <laughs> well, we're getting close to our two miles. Nice to just knock out two miles and end up enjoying the day. We did the very nice two miles. It was a really nice hike. It was really relaxing and I don't know, it was a really great day to recover. Mm -hmm. We yeah. got Beautiful. up this morning bright and early, freezing, and got out and got to the store and got a little food and got a coffee and drove over here and knocked out these two miles and got some nice training in. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we carried our pack so we'd have weight training and we have weights on our feet in the form of micro spikes and weights on our, our poles in the form of Ice. ice. <laughs> we have ice kebabs. Still, even through all the water we went through, you would have thought someone would have melted off. And no, it didn't. I think it added to it. <laughs> I think it did. But thank you all very much for watching. We hope you enjoy these videos. We look yes. forward to more subscribers. We look forward to giving you some good content. Till next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we made lollipops. Anybody hungry? Mm. Uh, Yummy. Yeah, yeah. You had all settled? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Looked really weird before. We have a guard chicken <laughs> in the car.
<laughs> because my mama likes chickens and that's